Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Sony IS and friends, today we are going to discuss our daily worksheet, okay? A daily worksheet for, for the geography course, we are going to discuss that. And this is a course discussion for prelims 2023 crash course as it is going on for the prelims examination. This is the topic for friends, where we'll be looking over to different geomorphic process, okay? So geomorphic process related to questions and the questions which are related to geomorphic processes, we'll be looking over to some six, seven questions, I think. And we'll be looking and we'll be discussing these questions. <clears throat> and the next topic will be having the discussions of the landform bar. Okay. So combination of questions can be seen both in geomorphic processes and landforms because uh, the processes, they basically, uh, you know, they form several landforms and all. So many a times it has seen that questions, uh, they can, you know, they can be in combination of geomorphic processes and landforms form. Because landforms are the and result of the geomorphic processes, what take place. So geomorphic processes, ke jo results hote na, these results basically are the landforms which are formed. Okay. The questions, they might, at times, they might be, Converging uh, with both of the topics. Okay. So let's look into the first question. <clears throat> the first question says that uh, which one of the following features is the result of erosion and deposition work of a river? So friends, in this question, we have been asked about the feature where erosion and deposition work of a river can be seen. Okay. Now, first is your pothole, which is given. So, what is pothole? We have seen in our lectures also. Potholes, mein kya hota hai? Ki the running water, you know, it. there are several small, very small holes like this. And, you know, small pebbles, they get collected over here, the sediments and all. Now, when the water is coming in this direction, okay, water is flowing in this direction. So, water is also causing a motion of these pebbles, these small pebbles, jo hai na. Inka motion hota and these circulic motions can be seen because of these circulic motions, is a motion karte karte, they do the erosion of the surface through which the river is flowing. Okay? And these small pebbles and gravels, they are basically the factors, which are like you know, small, small gravels. Thai. So they have been, you know, like circulating and making this holes very large. Okay? These holes, you can see, they are comparatively smaller. This is a very big one. Okay, so <clears throat> after some time, this hole will also become very big. Maybe it, 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 it grows in this size, and then this also grows in very big size, and then the total pura exact for that. So we can see here that it is because of the erosion by the moving water. Take care. The potholes are formed because of erosion. Like in deposition, there is no uh, there is no role of deposition over here. So first state, first potholes, it is not correct over here. Then we have your Oxbow Lake. Oxbow Lake, mein kya hota hai? this is, say, for example, the direction. This is the river, which is basically meandering. Hai? Now, river meandering, jo hai, river meandering, which occurs, this river meandering takes place in your middle and lower or middle and the later stages of the, uh, of the river, the mature stage. Of, young stage, mein meanderings will not be seen. Okay, but these rivers they they you know they form this meanderings meanders meanderings jo hai, ye hoti hai river ki, basically where the river flows in this type of direction. Okay, so these meanderings these are the meanderings of the river. Now when the river is flowing in this direction, so what happens is the river is coming from in this direction. Say for example, so with lot of force, river is coming over here and it is hitting this 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 portion. When it is hitting this portion, so erosion of this portion will be occurring because of the river which is coming. Okay, here the erosion over, and on the opposite side of the erosion, where the erosion is taking where taking place, opposite side of the erosion, the eroded materials जो है यहाँ पे और ये जो deposition है ये इसके opposite side में deposition होने लगे. All right, and then erosion and deposition will go on like this, and then the river again flows over like this, and then यहाँ भी erosion होगा, then deposition then again erosion deposition Same way river it flows through this and it causes erosion over here and deposition over here on the opposite side. Now what will happen with time the erosion will 
कंटिन्यू इरोजन विल गो ऑन तो पहले ये इतना इरोजन होगा दिस विल गेट इरोडेड लाइक दिस ठीक है देन द इरोजन वुड बी सम व्हाट मोर बेटर एंड देन इट वुड बी लाइक दिस एंड देन फाइनली व्हाट विल हैपन दैट यहां इरोजन के बाद में जो डिपोजिशन है ना दिस डिपोजिशन विल फिल ओवर दिस स्पेस एंड व्हाट विल हैपन इज दैट द रिवर इट यहां इरोजन होता 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 इरोजन इतना ज्यादा हो जाएगा कि द रिवर देन स्टार्ट्स फ्लोइंग इनटू द इन दिस चैनल like this the river starts flowing like this because now what is happening river is getting shorter path and the straight path is available ye pura erode karke this material has been removed so river will now break its stream and it will leave this channel and this water would be filled up over here and it would be left behind now this is what is the oxbow lake theek hai so oxbow lake formation jo ho raha hai na isme erosion and deposition both is both both the factors are taking place theek hai that is what is Uh, that is what is uh, asked in the question so by that we know that the correct option here is option b levis pucha jata hai levis kya hai levis see in this this also we had seen in our lecture now this is this is a this is a uh, river bed theek hai and this is the normal flow of the water now when the water increases okay when the flow of water increases because of floods and all so what will happen that the water will bring in lot of sediments also and these sediments they will start they will be they will start collecting over here you know they will start collecting on this then the again flood uh, water uh, is you know is lost and then the water again comes into the normal uh, level after that again if the flood plains come okay say for example now the flood is at this level so kya hoga ki more deposition of sediments will take place over here okay more deposition of the sediments take place here and these depositions okay these depositions are called as your levees theek okay? hai these are nothing but the levees these are these depositions are called levees theek okay? hai to yahan pe deposition is basically the factor which is uh, occurring over here theek okay? hai to yahan deposition is uh, taking place theek okay? now rapids rapids we all know when there is a sudden steep in the flow of river and we can see that there is a sudden steep in flow of the river and the river the velocity and the flow of river it increases all of a sudden theek hai so these are called as rapids and you will be finding that you know if there is a there are boulders or all in, in uh, you know in in path of the river flow then what will happen that river it strikes the boulders like this and the river water it clutches like this clutches out of like that okay that is why you can see a lot of rapids and all in uh, in areas like uh, you know fishication uh, all the river rafting and all this done lot of rapids can be seen okay lot of such rapids can be seen where the flow of the river it suddenly increases because of the steepness of the river bed theek hai so this uh, this does lot of erosion because these these you know these boulders which are in which are on the way of the river these boulders they get eroded by the force of the water which is coming so erosion bahut increase ho jata hai so pothole levees rapids these all are incorrect correct option would be oxbow lake that is <clears throat> your option b all right chalo now let's look to the next question the next question is saying that the gently sloping accumulation of coarse alluvium deposits by a braided stream is known as gently sloping accumulation of coarse alluvium so alluvium deposits by a braided stream is known as this is what the question is to us okay first option is your sandbar second is your uh, your your bajada third is your second six uh, point c is your alluvial fan and then grs <clears throat> okay now here you can see these are the sandbars okay these are the sandbars on the rivers sandbars hai kya it is basically nothing but it is a you know sandbars are long raised areas theek okay? hai it is long raised areas of sand that is below the surface of water okay and this is usually formed by the movement of the currents okay so it is basically also the area where the river is entering the sea okay and uh, gently sloping uh, accumulation of coarse alluvium deposits by the braided stream it can be seen over here and these are known as your sandbars all right then we have your bajadas water bajadas you can see over here 
दिस दिस होल इज कॉल्ड एज बजाडा ठीक है बजाडा क्या है बजाडा इज बिकॉज दे आर फॉर्म बाई दी एल्यूबल फैंस इंटरफ्यूज ऑफ सेवरल एल्यूबल फॉइंट ओके सो दिस फैन शेप डिपॉजिट इट इज बेसिकली फॉर्म फ्रॉम दी डिपोजिशन ऑफ दी सेडिमेंट्स यहाँ से जो सेडिमेंट्स आ रहे हैं दीज सेडिमेंट्स आर बेसिकली फॉर्मिंग दिस sort of uh, you know pan shaped deposits and by the stream from the the stream is coming from the upland on the flat land base of the mountain okay and you can see that these bajadas they are very commonly found in the areas where arid regions can be found okay and when large quantity of the sediments are deposited by the flat flash when it a flat flash flood kya hai All of a sudden, when the floods come, lot of floods come, the lot lot of sediments are brought in. So these type of bajadas can be seen. Okay, alluvial fans can. This is a single alluvial fan. Again, that is the deposition. Alluvial fans can. These are the cone-shaped structures. Okay, deposition land formed built by streams, and heavy sediments are formed over here. So heavy sediments are deposited. When are they formed? They are formed when the streams flowing from mountains they break into foot slope plains of low gradient. तो यहाँ हाई ग्रेडियंट है यहाँ लो ग्रेडियंट है दे कम ओवर एंड दे कम दे कम इन दिस फैशन ओके वेन द ग्रेडियंट बिकम्स लेस दे कम्स इन दे कम इन इन दिस फैशन तो ये जो है दिस इज नोन एज यूर फैंस ठीक है बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रेडियंट इट इज फॉर्म एंड दे आर जनरली फॉर्म इन दिस टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ठीक है दीज आर योर एलेवन फैंस What is your what is your diaras? These these you can see. These are the diaras land. Okay. So what are these? These are the pieces of land that get created on the middle of the river. So on the middle of the river, when this this these are the pieces of land that get created. Okay. And why? How is this? How are these diaras land created? These diaras are created. They are created by the deposition of the sands. Deposition of sands. Okay. तो क्वेश्चन क्या था जेंटली स्लोपिंग एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ कोर्स एल्यूवियम डिपॉजिट्स बाय द ब्रेडेड स्ट्रीम इट इज नोन एज योर सैंड बार ठीक है क्या है सैंड बार इट इज अ लॉन्ग रेंज एरिया ऑफ सैंड बिलो द सरफेस ऑफ वाटर ठीक है एंड हाउ आर दे फॉर्म दे आर फॉर्म बेसिकली ड्यू टू दी मूविंग करेंट ठीक है दे आर बेसिकली फॉर्म ड्यू टू दी मूविंग करेंट तो हियर ऑप्शन A is correct. That is sandbar. All right. Okay. Let's come to the next question now. The next question says that stalactite, stalagmite, and pillars are depositional landforms of. So this is very easy question. Okay. This is very easy question. We know that uh, you know if such type of topography, these are the caves. If this uh, this is your limestone caves are formed. Okay, and there is water. Which is sort of uh, doing reaction with this limestone. So what will happen? कि ये जो cave है इसमें erosion होगा because of the water, ठीक है? And the limestone, the water which is you know which is which is dropping from the from the height of the roof, okay? So this water will have some limestone uh, connects with it, ठीक है? तो ये limestone water when water is falling, okay? So by the time water is falling, the limestone deposition is you know taking place in this fashion theek hai ab yahan se jo water drop kar raha hai na this water is also having some leftover limestone with it theek hai ya lime deposits with it to be more precise now this would be deposited in this manner all right this would be deposited in this manner cast topography mein bhi jo humne dekha tha but this which is hanging from the roof this is known as your stalactite okay and this which is formed at the uh, you know at the base or at the floor this is known as your stalagmite you know ye stalactite or stalagmite humne dekha tha now when this increases so ye ek time aayega jab ye aisa ho jayega aur ye aisa ho jayega okay and then finally it would be something like this like a pillar okay it will form like a it will be formed like a pillar All right. So, stalactite and stalagmite finally, after long period of time, they form this type of pillars. All right. Now, these type of depositional landforms are formed 
by what? Is it running water? No. Is it wind? No. Is it glacier? No. It is found by the deposition land for the underground water. The underground water the cast topography jo padi thi usme, it is underground water ke, because of underground water. All these things, all these landforms are being formed. All right. <clears throat> so correct option here is option D. It is underground water. Okay. Next question. Next question is asking that which one of the following is not a process of chemical weathering? This is what is being asked. First question says about solution. Okay. So what is solution? The chemical weathering, mena, these many factors are important. Okay. Chemical weathering, uh, may, there is uh, there, what includes is your solution is included, then your carbonation. Okay, then your hydration, then your, uh, what else, oxidation, okay, and reduction. All these are part of your chemical weathering only. Okay, weathering kya hai, chemical weathering, all these things we had seen. First part is solution. Now solution kya hai? Solution is simple that when minerals, they are added in acidic solutions. Okay, then the minerals, they are added in acidic solutions. That process is known as solution because of which the chemical weathering of the mineral is done because of the acidic solution. Okay, carbonation kya hai? Carbonation is also a chemical process, chemical weathering, where carbon dioxide is added to water. And what is formed? Carbonic acid is formed. Okay, carbonic acid is formed. And which also this this acid then also does weathering. <coughs> okay. Oxidation. Oxidation kya hai? Oxidation mein oxygen combines. Combination of oxygen. Okay. Oxygen combines with the material. Alright. And oxides of it is found. Like let's say iron. Okay. So iron oxide. Rusting. All this is part of your chemical weathering only. D is exploitation. Now, exploitation is not part of your chemical weathering. Okay. Exploitation kya hai? It is that process, okay, that weakens and separation of surface layers of rocks, which can be seen. And it is not just result of chemical weathering, but it can be result of chemical or thermal weathering or pressure release due to erosion, many such things, heating problem, heating and all these things. You know, peel of, you know, we have seen this on our lecture also, but this type of layers hota hai na? like onion when these these layers when when these layers can be peeled off okay so such such layers or such situation uh, where this type of uh, different layers can be you know extracted off and the the peels can they can be peeled off in layer form okay so this is what is called as exploration is may chemical weathering it's not process of chemical weathering rather you know there, if you can see in this diagram also, you can see your yes, sun is, uh, you know, getting expansion is being done. The Rath may again contraction is done. So expansion contraction ki se kya hota? on the upper surface, several cracks can be formed. And these cracks, then they can be weathered very easily and they can be removed. Leftover material is very small. Okay. Again, the same process starts with this. Okay. So then uh, the uh, the contraction and expansion process will take place. And this continues. And that is how the weather, weathering is done. You can see several rock structures also, where the rocks can be formed in this manner. Is there a rocks of the king is layers of the rocks. Okay, so that is exploration and that is not a part of chemical weathering itself. Okay, the correct option is not a process pucha, so it is exploration. That is option D. Okay. All right. I hope that you are understanding and you are getting the questions. There is uh, these questions. These are very easy and very easy to understand questions. It's a revision which is uh, important for you. All right. Next question. Next question says that consider the following statement. Now the two statements are given. First statement is given that sheet erosion refers to the uniform movement of thin layer of soil that lowers soil fertility. Okay. Now sheet erosion kya hota? Basically. If there is a if there's a soil layer, these type of layers are there. Okay. This is these are the soil layers. Or yeah, bedrock. 
Now this upper soil, ये जो upper soil है ना upper layer of soil, this soil is basically very fertile soil. ठीक है This this soil is basically very fertile soil. उसके नीचे में जो है ना these soils are not that fertile. Why? Because this soil, this layer of the soil is having maximum nutrients. It is in contact with atmosphere. So exchange of gases is doing is being done over here. Then it is like you know, rainwater is is being flowing on this upper layer of the soil. Vegetation, ये किस तरह के manures हैं तो they are lying on the upper layer of the soil. So this soil is very uh, very good in uh, in as far as your uh, uh, this as far as your fertility is concerned. ठीक है. Sheet erosion में क्या होता है? It basically refers to the Uniform movement. Uniform movement means it is uniformly move, removed from all the substance because of the weathering. Okay, so it is uniform movement of thin layer of soil across the land, which is not having any vegetative cover. Sea erosion के लिए vegetative cover नहीं है. If there is vegetation, then the erosion becomes very difficult. All right. So that is basically what is given over here. If you see on this diagram, so you can see here that this whole land area. This is all. You know, removed the upper layer is removed and the very, very coarse bedrock can be seen over here. Okay, and if this uh, seed erosion is done, then what happens? It lowers the fertility. The fertility level also get gets lowered down. Okay, because upper layer is the most productive layer, which has been, you know, very which is enriched with a uh, uh, lot of uh, minerals and a uh, lot of. Uh, fertility can be seen on that layer so that is removed and that is called as sheet erosion refers to uniform movement of thin layer of soil that lowers soil fertility this is correct option correct statement hai second statement is given that rill erosion leaves visible scoring on the landscape whereas sheet erosion is generally invisible theek hai now this is the second statement which is given and this statement is also correct rill erosion mein kya hota hai okay it basically you know the erosion you can see over here this 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 is real erosion okay after this real erosion ye erosion aur badh ke pata hai kya ho jata hai real erosions jo hote hai na they finally convert into your gullies okay gully erosion so real erosion mein kya ho raha hai ki the you can see that the land surface okay land surface over here it is almost very irregular okay and the sheet erosion the sheet flow which have, which has occurred it begins it, it starts to concentrate on the land surface on some part and it erodes the other part uh, which which can be seen over here which is eroded part over, over this in this diagram okay sheet eroded erosion jo hota hai na this is generally invisible you cannot understand you cannot see that the upper layer of the land has been removed or you know it has not been but when it comes to your real erosion na so it can be very easily identified that okay rills have been formed over here and if the erosion continues then gullies can be also seen <clears throat> okay and uh, definitely the uh, erosion factors if water is flowing or if rain rainfall is occurring and there is a huge rainfall or uh, you know this uh, uh, flow of river or flow of water because of rainfall or whatsoever so definitely the intensity of these rills to convert into gullies that increases because of the erosional factors which is increased the second statement is also definitely correct over here okay what have been asked which of the following given is or are not correct puch hai not correct puch hai to dono to correct hai both of them are correct so correct option would be option d that is neither one or two all right so let's look over to the next question the next question is asking <clears throat> that uh, the phenomenon of wearing down of relief variations on the surface of the earth through erosion is known as okay so phenomenon of wearing down of relief variations this is what the question is asking the first statement is your deposition deposition uh, gradation diastrophism and erosion okay so what is the correct option over here we all know that it is gradation okay so what is what is this gradation see basically the you know external forces which are also known as your uh, exogenic forces okay 
So these external forces, they result into what? They result into bearing down of the relief or bearing down of the relief features. This happens. That is, this wearing down is also known as a degradation. Okay. And this wearing down to degradation, what will happen? Somewhere it would be, if this erosion is taking place, somewhere it would be filling up. Okay. This filling up is known as your aggradations. Okay. This aggradations of the basins or the depressions on the earth's surface. Okay. The phenomenon where the wearing down of relief variations on this earth's surface through erosion is taking place, it is this phenomenon where the wearing down of relief features or relief is variations on the earth's surface is, is through erosion is going on. That is known as your gradation. All right. And this gradation can be done through agents like rivers, winds, glaciers, then your uh, waves. All these things, they are they, they can be factor of your erosion. All right. So here, wearing down, that means erosion of relief features of the surface of the earth through erosion, okay, is known as your gradation. Correct option is option B. So gradation kya hai? Ye agar aapko pata hai, it can be it can be understood. You can answer the question. All right. Next question. Which of the following process is not a gradational process? Abhi to gradation kya tha that we have discussed. Now, which of the following is not a gradational process? This is being asked to you. All right. <clears throat> gradation process mein kya kya hai? We all know. Abhi we were discussing that first of all, your flowing water. Okay. Then your waves, the coastal waves and all. Okay. These also form this gradational uh, processes. Then you have your uh, glacial erosion where the glacial the the moving ice the ice which is moving okay that also occurs that also causes this gradational process and what else is required what else we have the wind wind flow okay so all these are part of gradational process and we had seen that how different land forms or how the erosion or and the gradation takes place by because of wind because of the glacial movement of ice Moraines and all we had seen, wind system, time dunes and barchans and all these things we had seen. Waves maybe we had seen several, uh, we, we know that several uh, uh, erosion uh, erosion landforms can be seen because of waves as well. Okay? Wind maybe we had also seen uh, about uh, that uh, rock, uh, mushroom rocks and all these things. Flowing water, we had just seen so many uh, effects and so many factors, jitna bhi apna you know, the, the gullies which are formed, yeah, the rills, the gullies are formed, the, the, the V-shaped valley, the U-shaped, all these valleys which are formed, glaciers, the U-shaped valleys are formed. Hoti hai. Okay, and then the flowing water, it, it erodes the banks and all this erosion process, what we are seeing. So we had seen all these things. So yeah, moving water, moving ice, and waves ka to humne dekha tha. But volcanism is never seen or we have not seen that that volcanism is a form of gradational process okay so volcanism is not part of this gradational process here have four gradational process we have seen okay but volcanism is not part of that <clears throat> okay so correct option not puchanga not a gradational process the correct option here would be volcanism okay volcanism is not part of that volcanism kya hai? volcanism is basically that when the magma forms as lava and then it comes over the surface and then volcanic activities take okay? volcanic activities taking place. So this go, you know, gradational process may count. Nahi this is not gradational process, neither this is the gradational agents which which we which, which we are seen over here. Okay? So volcanism is correct option, it is not a gradational process. Correct option is option D that is volcanism. All right, so friends, thank you for the session and thank you for the worksheet discussion. And uh, we will have the next worksheet very soon with the next topic. Till that time, keep watching Sunyayas and thank you.